Nancy Rathbun. Thank you for purchasing our Festive Tulips Block of the Month. We're on Block 3 and I will show and demonstrate how the block is sewn together. So we're going to start with one of our background rectangles and we're going to put right sides together one of our tiny tulips squares on the edge. And you're going to sew from corner to corner and you can mark if you need to and make four of these units here. So we're going to sew and mark all four of these and then we're going to come back and do the other so side. Stitch all of these and then you're going to trim the excess away a quarter of an inch from your stitching line. And then you're going to finger press these down. After you've pressed, then you're going to position another square on the other side. So you're going to be sewing over this point down here where you sewed before. And if you need to, mark again from corner to corner. on that tiny tulip square and then make your second seam. So we're going to trim these off also. And now what you have is you have your star points for your small star center. So you'll trim all of these and then finger press those towards the tiny tulips so the center square is your tiny tulips two and a half inch square and each one of these is going to fit all the way around so what I'm going to do first is sew one to the top and to the bottom and then the other two units that look like this are going to have a background square sewn to each corner here and here. So I'll have two units that look like this and then I'll have my center unit. So here's my center triangle unit and I'm pressing towards that center square. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to position each one of these units that have the background square on each side and I'm going to nest those seams there and I want to make sure when you're sewing triangles that you can see the stitches right side up. That way when you take the seam that you can make sure that you miss that corner just a little bit and that you're not going to be cutting off those points. So you can press this square gently and this should measure four and a half inches square when you're all done. So now we're going to make some half square triangles again. So we're going to do this with our warm one purple square. And we're going to place one of our background squares on top. The same way we did in the last by drawing diagonally from corner to corner. So you're going to make eight of these and that's going to make 16 half square triangles for the next few steps. Step 7, we're going to make these butterfly shaped four patch units using two half square triangles and two of our one and a half inch um, background squares. So all of these half square triangles should go ahead and measure one and a half inches. If they don't, if they're a little big, then you can square them up at this step. That one that's maybe a little big here. Alright, so let's go ahead and sew those and you should have four of these units when you're done. So you can press these pieces gently. They should measure a two and a half inch square. So we're going to make four of these. The next block that we're going to be making is going to take one of our half square triangle pieces and then we're going to take our uh, background squares and we're going to cut those in half on the diagonal from corner to corner. So we're going to first start by sewing one of these and you're going to have a little hang down here and then after that's sewn then we'll sew another one. So we'll get a little corner triangle unit. So that's the first step. Looks like this. And then I'm just going to lay this making sure that those edges are even. 
and stitch this one. So that's one of your new corner triangle pieces here. So that's going to get sewn on one of your warm three triangles. So these should measure about the same size now. You're going to line up all of those edges and you're going to stitch down this side, making sure that over here um, you're not going to snip off that point when you sew. So that's your square unit, and this should measure two and a half inches also. So now you have your center triangle, or your center square, um, and these corner triangle pieces, and your butterfly blocks. So I'm going to finish piecing these together, and then we'll stitch the block together. The units pieced together from steps 11 and 12, and you'll want to follow the diagram when sewing so that you're pressing these seams um, the way that the pattern shows you to for, for, uh, for pressing. So I'm going to sew these two pieces together. So you're going to have four units that look just like this here. Then these will get sewn to the top and the bottom of your star. So it's going to make a larger star point that's going to go all the way around your piece. So I'm going to sew these together and then I'll show you a little bit more on this. So I have all my units sewn together for this block. So we're going to sew this in sections. We have the center, which is going to have two star points on either side. And then the cornerstones of this block are going to be our little butterfly pieces. So just check your positioning of these when you sew these together. So I'm going to sew this block together and then I'm going to add the star points and we'll have a finished block number three. Now you have your block three done. Thank you for watching our Festive Tulips Block of the Month video. You're actually going to get two blocks this month. So you still have month uh, four, block four, to finish. There'll be another video available for you to watch for the demonstration for that.